Okay. Good morning, this is Dr. Sabah Bhutan from Personalized Physical Therapy and Wellness, and I have a great friend, Pat Rygert, and we are talking about uh, good snow shoveling techniques and helping your back, so not end up breaking your back. Um, you know, Pat had almost a three and a half hours of show, snow shoveling one day and an hour and a half the other day, and he just felt everything in his core and just the core got stronger versus the back starting at acting up. And that's what I hear a lot in my world is, wow, my back started bothering after the snow shoveling. So Pat has great tips for us. Uh, we just went over five great tips. So we'll go over that one by one. Um, and Pat, if you need any assistance, let me know. But you wanna go for your first tip for the morning? Sure, okay. Uh, first of all, you need a good shovel, and the shovel needs to be metal, at least on the flat edge, uh, because you're going to use that shovel not only to scrape, but also to break up ice and the snow that may be on top of it. Okay, so you've got to have a good shovel. Good shovel. Yes. That's number one. Yes, and you might pay more money, but uh, it's worth it in the long run. It. If, you don't, if your back goes out, that can be very expensive. So <laughs> you don't want to do that. So get a good shovel. And then when you are starting to shovel, uh, use your legs as much as possible. And by that, I'm talking about bending your legs, getting under the snow, and then when you lift, lift with your legs more than your back. This is a way. Not, don't, don't do it. With yeah. Your back lifting, lifting this way. Yep. But try and lift with your legs. With your legs. And use those strong muscles in your legs more than, than your back. Kind of a back extension. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay. You don't want to do that. Then, That's right. A lot of the snow is covered up is covering ice yeah. and ice can be a problem people try and get under the ice and scrape and scrape and scrape and that's just useless work most of the time yes if you break up the ice it goes a lot faster mm. use that flat edge of your shovel that and many times many of them have a metal strip on plastic that works and chop it up mm. you can turn it over uh, turn it around anyway, the flat part hits that ice, breaks it up, and then many times it'll just scoop right up. Mm. A lot easier to do it that way, break it up first, then scoop it up. Then scoop it, yeah. Oh, another thing is that sometimes if you get away from the ice and it's just snow, you can get scoop under the snow and then it will go underneath the edge of the ice. Mm. Uh, sometimes it works. Right. Like if you have tire tracks, <clears throat> yeah. and in the middle of the tire tracks is just snow, it scoops up easily, Yeah. and then sometimes that snow will attach to the ice, mm. and just scoop under it, up it goes. Yeah. So that works as well. Awesome. Other things to think about. Uh, you're outside, it's cold. You think, eh, I'm not sweating, but, you get hydrated just as fast outside. Doing all this work, be sure and drink plenty of water. Plenty of water. Plenty of water, and take breaks. And take breaks. Yeah, it's, it's not something that you have to do, you know, immediately real fast. Right. Take a break, think about yourself. You should be okay. Awesome. So, well, hope that helps. Yeah, thank you very much, Pat. Right. We are very appreciative of your tips, and I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate that too. So thank you so much. <laughs>